Leaks in China have revealed that the new BYD battery, while the new version of their battery intended for certain applications, I don't know if it's for EVs or not, will be the fastest charging EV battery in the world, at least initially, say sources in China. Here are the details. Here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. This battery apparently is intended for construction machinery. Now, I assume that would mean it also is meant for, say, buses and trucks as well. But we know that BYD hasn't technically released the details yet so far. However, this battery pack is essentially a very large blade battery. And I believe this is BYD's blade battery version 2. And this could, this could be an indicator of the actual charging speed of the blade battery version 2, which is much, much, much better than the existing blade battery. The existing blade battery can charge it about a max speed of around 250 kilowatt, not particularly fast. So BYD have been working on this new battery pack. Now, apparently it has a maximum current of 400 amps along with a 1500 volt high voltage plant architecture. 1500 volt architecture, that's um, very unusual. The industry is generally using 800 volt architectures now for faster charging. So 1500 volt could potentially mean if they were to use this um, platform in Another purpose, say if it was used in an electric car, in theory, you could probably charge the battery in less than 10 minutes. This is the BYD Blade battery, but it's the version two, and it's said to be sized for certain applications, machinery, um, commercial applications, etc., from 200 kilowatt hours to 2,500 kilowatt hours. So very big battery pack. You can imagine this would be great for buses so that there's not much downtime. So, you know, when the bus takes all the people around and it comes back and it needs to recharge, it might be only sitting there for say five to 10 minutes, which would be huge for bus fleets. A big part of BYD's business is commercial bus fleets and trucking fleets as well. Apparently the battery will have a 7,000 charging cycle life. So it would last for at least 20 years and it should be operable in ambient temperatures of minus 35 degrees Celsius up to 65 degrees Celsius, which means, you know, it'll work fine in basically all weather. Now I know then um, places like Alaska probably get colder than minus 35, but yeah, it should be fine for 99% of the world's population. Charging power is said to be 600 kilowatt, but it's not the max speed that I think BYD's, um, that people are saying means it's the fastest charging battery. It's the fact that because it has that 1500 volt architecture, it can maintain very, very high charging speeds. Potentially it could even charge, if you think about it, if it can maintain these charging speeds with that 1500 volt platform, it might charge in closer to seven or eight minutes. We don't know the full details yet, but this is kind of exciting because there's no reason BYD couldn't use this architecture in its electric cars. This is, at this point in time, it's been marketed as for, for commercial applications, but I don't see why they wouldn't use this in future electric cars as well. Apparently it's a structural battery pack, so it can be obviously implemented into the structure of the car. And BYD says it is the world's first blade battery for construction machinery. Um, obviously the battery should be ideally suited for construction machinery in particular. Now, apparently this battery is a partnership between BYD and its subsidiary FinDreams. Now, obviously BYD owns FinDreams, so it's a BYD battery. And also they've worked with machinery equipment producer XCMG in order to make sure that this battery pack it works well in all kinds of um, tooling and machinery applications. Probably really good for mines as well. Now, XCMG is actually a state-owned company, state-owned by China, essentially, basically, and it's the largest construction machinery producer in China and the third largest producer in the world. So that means a lot of, a lot of countries around the world are buying construction machinery from XCMG. In other words, they'll be getting new construction machinery probably next year using these new batteries. So that would be a huge advantage for farms, for all kinds of applications. Now, apparently these batteries have been produced now for quite a while. They say that the first batteries from this partnership rolled off the production line in October last year, but these were an earlier type of blade batteries that didn't have this super fast charging speed and the 1500 volt architecture. So they've worked on this new architecture. I, even though this technically people are saying this is for commercial applications. I, I believe this is just a leak of the information we're going to see for the new blade battery. 
if they've built this new 1500 volt architecture, there's no reason BYD wouldn't want to be using it in other applications like EVs, for example. There's no reason BYD wouldn't want to be saying, yeah, yeah, you know, our blade batteries have fallen behind, but hey, look at this new one. It charges in seven or eight minutes and it's the fastest charging battery for an EV in the world. This is what I see coming, but let's wait and see. Let me know what your thoughts are. Bye-bye.